let's make a list. I'm going to call it x. x equals square brackets, single quotes, vic, single quotes, square brackets. And I can x, and it is there's vic. What type of object is x? It is a, an object of type list. Hmm, that looks ugly. Let's add on some more names. It's not enough. X is the name of the object. Dot append is the name of the method. Open paren single quote. I want to add on the name of Yumi. Close parens. Now I key in X. I hit enter. Now I have two items in my list. Vic and use Yumi. Vic is element zero, the zeroth element, and Yumi is the oneth element. All right. Now I want to do one more. X dot append. Open parens. Union. Single quote. Close parens. There we go. Now I would like to get a list. I would like to slice out just oh, a little bit from one, uh, from zero, to two, up to but not including two. There we go. So I got Vic and Yumi out of Vic, Yumi, and Union. So this is the zeroth, a oneth element, and the twoth element. I specified I wanted everything from you up to but not including two, the twoth element, zero and one. Go up to two but don't include two. So I got Vic and Yumi. Huh. What do you know? Well, this is not enough. I need to add on to this. I need to add on to this uh, list. So how do I do that? Uh, x dot append. X is the object, and append is the method. What am I going to append? I'm going to append the name of Bill. Close parens. Let's take a look at X, and now we have Bill on the end of this. Oh my goodness, I didn't want that. Let's remove Bill. X dot remove. Open parens, single quote, Bill. Single quote, close parens. And now let's do an X, and Bill is gone. Wow, that's just amazing. Well, let's do some more with these lists. And let's take this list, which is Vic, Yumi, and Union. And um, what should we do this? Let's convert this into a tuple. X is what type? What type of data is uh, X? Let's find out. Type of object X is a list. Let's create a variable called Z. And let's make a tuple out of X. Well, let's convert X to a tuple and assign that to variable Z. So X will be still left alone, but Z will now be a tuple. Oh, that sounds good. Let's do that. Now, see in Z, notice the parens around the data. That tells you it's a tuple. If I do an X, you'll see square brackets. A list has the square brackets, but a tuple will have those parens. Wow. What type of data is Z? It's a tuple. What type of data is X? X is still a list. So we did not change the base value of our list. We just converted it in memory, assigned it to the variable Z, and then X, the object X, was left alone, unchanged. The only thing that was changed was Z up here. The tuple form of X was assigned to Z. Huh. Well, that's amazing. Let's take a look at that list again. We've got Vic, Umi, and Union. Oh my goodness, I forgot myself. Let's X dot insert into positions into position one. The name Gary. Single quote, close parens. And let's see what we got now. Oh, it's Vic, Gary, Yumi, Union. I forgot. <sighs> I wanted to be in the zeroth position. I'll have to remove Gary. So it's X dot remove, open paren, single, whoops, single quote, remove Gary. And now we've got that. Okay, now I want to X dot insert into position zero, the name Gary. And did it work? Oh, it worked well. Well, you know, that's just amazing. So I don't like this. Can we put this in reverse? Yes, I'd like this whole thing in reverse. Let's take the X object, the X object, and let's reverse everything. I'm going to put open close parens on the end after the dot operator and the method name. And now let's take a look at this. Oh, it's now Union, Umi, Vic, and Gary. Oh my goodness, that is just amazing. Huh. Oh, but I made a mistake again. Oh. Take a look at, um, uh, take a look at Gary here. G-A-R-Y. That's not an uppercase. That's a mistake. I want that in uppercase. How can I how can I correct that? Hmm. And what if I had a number on there too? Let's do the number first. I like that first. Let's let's append. Let's take X and let's append something onto the end of that. Uh, 30.4. Yeah, that looks like a nice thing to do. Uh, I'm going to append something onto the end of that and see what happens. 30.4. That's a different data type, of course. And now let's see what we get. We get 30.4 there. Wow. Now, if I try and sort this, will I have problems? X dot sort, open, close, parens. Oh, I get lots of problems with that. What What if I took that 30.4 and converted it to a string? That would be good. I'd have to say, oh, take that uh, value at X 
in the x object position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 30.4. That's position 4. And I want to assign it a new value. What value do I want to assign it? I want to uh, convert that to a string. The string version of convert to a string, whatever is located at the x object position 4. Go to the x object position 4, convert that to a string, and assign that back to the fourth position, the fourth position of the x object. That should do it. And now I've got what? I've got 30.4, but it's in a string version. Wow. Now I should be able to key in x.sort, open, close, parent, and I don't get an error message. What do you know? Let's take a look at this guy now. Wow, the numerics were placed right into the beginning. Oh, well, the string version of those numerics was placed into the beginning in the sort then. Yumi, Gary, Vic, and Union. Wow. That's amazing. Capital U, and lowercase g, v, and then y. That's amazing. Can we put these guys in reverse? I'll bet we can. X dot reverse and X. Wow. Done. That's amazing. Oh, what else can we learn about this system? Uh, we did the sort, and that was nice. We did the reverse. Well, let's leave it at this right now. That'd be a good idea. Let's let's leave it for now. And this, this is George Wool, all in lowercase, saying bye-bye.